Shalom Aleichem everybody, hope all is well. In the book of Psalms, Tehillim, we see a beautiful prophecy, a beautiful, you know, hint at what we're about to see in the days of Mashiach, and that is that the Goyim, the Gentiles, the nations will turn to God and it says, Yeducha Amim Elokim, Yeducha Amim Kulam. The whole world will know Hashem. What's interesting about the way this is written? It says, Yeducha Amim Elokim. It says, they will know Hashem. Knowing is different from believing in. Believing is, yes, in a way, faith is the highest level because it's higher than logic. But sometimes a person can believe in something that they don't necessarily know so well. They're not so familiar, but they believe. But here, what is the difference between faith and knowing? Faith is above logic. Knowing is when it comes down into logic and into the emotions and channels towards the emotions as well, meaning it has been internalized. So in this book of Psalms, we see something that should get us really excited for the future, for what's about to be unfolded and what's about to be revealed, from, from, revealed to us from God. And this is that the nations will know Hashem. Knowing means that you're close and you're aware and you've accepted internally and you've you've been one, you've become one with the fact that this is reality. It says that the nations will become one with the fact that God is, is the only true existence. They will accept God as their king. And as you know, there are many powerful nations on this earth, many extremely powerful countries run by powerful governments with militaries and wealth and precious materials and rule and, and you know governance over massive nations with armies and and supporters and and, and 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 civilizations under them and these people may not be oh so aware of Hashem right now or maybe they're in the process of that happening but Hashem is telling us they too will become on board with this plan on board with Hashem's plan and they will turn to God and in turn the whole world will turn to God because if, if you imagine if imagine right now if all the governments were to say wow everyone we have to announce to you Hashem is the true God and we have to be following the laws of the Torah if we're Jewish and if we're Gentiles we have to follow the righteous laws of Gentiles the seven laws of Noah for righteous Gentiles and through that we will bring the, the divine light into the world and we will uh, fulfill the true purpose of creation and we will experience the greatest reality a world where God's presence is revealed within it and the whole world will feel aware and know and, and, and internalize the fact that God is one and feel Hashem's presence in an open and revealed way. Could you imagine if the governments began to tell everyone right now that that God is, that the Torah is, is, is truth and it's the word of God? Automatically, immediately, thousands, if not millions, maybe billions, I would say billions, actually easily billions if the whole country, if all the countries would just start to say this, billions of people would turn to the God of Israel immediately. So this is something that we have to realize as a reality and get excited about. To know that Hashem is interested in a relationship with each and every one of us. If you're Jewish, you have been chosen and you have been given the Torah to serve God through the Torah through like your forefathers and through that you fulfill your ultimate purpose of creation. And if you are a righteous Gentile, you fulfill your immediate important mission of creation by serving God, unifying Hashem's name and following in the ways of Noach and Avram and all those before and after. And if you're a righteous Gentile, I please ask you to get to ask your to t share with other righteous Gentiles this message. And if you're Jewish, of course, to share this message with other Jews, Yidim. This is important to note that Hashem is interested in each and every one of us. That is what Mashiach will bring to the world, and we may be today. And it's important to note that right now, right before, because Mashiach is about to come. And it's important that every every extra step we do in a, for Hashem right now is much more precious prior to the days of Mashiach. After Mashiach comes, it, it, it will be open and obvious. So each mitzvah that people do in the days of Mashiach will obviously be less precious to God. Whereas before the days of Mashiach, there's still a much greater free will and it will be much more precious to God each extra step we do. And actually each extra step we do prior to the days of Mashiach, not only... Is, is more is not only is extremely powerful but actually brings the days of Mashiach closer and brings added mercy upon not only you but all the world at large and this is why it's very interesting Hashem is interested in a relationship with the Jewish people of course but he's also interested in a relationship with the Goyim and they don't have to become Jewish people there's of course righteous there's converts and that's 
idea of conversion exists in Judaism. But a person, a Gentile, does not have to convert to, to fulfill his mission. He could fulfill his perfect mission of being a righteous Gentile and bring bring the divine light into the world in that manner. And of course, there are some who, even with that being said, they want to convert, and it's their specific mission to convert. So it depends on the person. But it's important to note that a righteous Gentile is fulfilling his complete mission in the world by serving God, and is actually is actually is actually bringing the days of Mashiach. The Lubavitcher Rebbe said, in order to accelerate the process of Mashiach, we have to do two things. One, speak about the coming Mashiach as a lot, a lot, and increase more and more and more. And two, spread the seven laws of Noach to the Gentiles and to the world. So by you sharing this, we will bring the world to the days of Mashiach, and all the nations will turn to God, and it will be in a loving, peaceful manner. It won't be in a way of weapons and war. It will be in a way with love, with excitement, and energetic spirituality to cleave to God and bring light into the world, and it will be the most pleasurable thing possible. May Hashem bless you all. Be well.